The raftmen of Brazil, traditional fishermen that are easy to admire, and they're strong and masculine and they're fiercely independent. They remind me of the American cowboy, but instead of wrestling cattle, they wrestle 500 pound wooden rafts up and over crashing waves to harvest sharks, stingray, and more. Like the American West, the wilds of Brazil are finally being tamed, but not without a price. For Endangered Coast, I'm photojournalist Paul Lima reporting part of a 12-year study here on the windswept beaches of Brazil's northeast. Here, like in so many coastal regions worldwide, pollution and irresponsible development threaten all of us, but especially the poor, who rely on a healthy ecosystem simply to survive. In communities near large Brazilian cities, like this one in Fortaleza, garbage washes ashore weekly. When residents try to complain to city officials, they're met with harassment. And according to local human rights advocates, the city is pressuring the community to relocate, to make room for more hotels, all part of an ambitious development program that they hope will turn the region into another Caribbean. And what of the raft fishermen? Frankly, I saw little evidence that the Brazilian Caribbean plan, despite its good intentions, includes poor and uneducated fisherfolk as participants. And so, without inclusion, few I talk to expect them to succeed. It's interesting to note that before the first hotels were built here, there were towering white sand dunes and raft fishermen thrived with little outside help. It's ironic, then, that tourism, advertised in part to uplift their livelihood, is responsible for their growing environmental and social ills. It's easy to find conservationists who agree, but few are willing to criticize the very policies they are paid to implement, until now. Supported by new research, a number of them are speaking out against tourism development, saying in effect, it is a Trojan horse for the poor. Moreover, they argue, tourism often perpetuates poverty and degrades native know-how that groups like the raft fishermen have used to prosper for over 500 years. This fresh outlook is welcome news to many. For Endangered Coast, I'm photojournalist Paul Lima reporting on the raft fishermen of Brazil.